stood up and doubled over. And here we are. The problem with doing anything is reliability, which is even a problem for Tuesday uploads. So yeah, when life beats you down, you gotta fight back. Decided to try and experiment, dig out my three-wheel electric bike because I'm tired of not being able to get anywhere without taking my car. And also I'm gonna try the DJI Osmo Mobile 2. Great device, does well with stabilization. I had it for three-ish weeks. I ended up returning it though. I have no idea what that is. And I can't see it. And again, I get distracted. Oh, hi. So as far as stabilizing the footage, I tried it riding my bike and it definitely was helpful. It was better than hand holding. A little limiting on how I could try to manipulate the phone and take shots of the, the bike while I was going. Follow mode worked well uh, within reason. I mean, obviously it's not gonna follow you while you're spinning in circles or hiding behind uh, anything. Now, you track me. The features that I really enjoyed using were the motion time lapse or motion lapse. So yeah, I really, really, really like the motion lapse. However, I got very frustrated with trying to set it up and I set my exposure and as soon as I hit go, it changes it. But as you can see, it's sweeping across and you'll see the, the brightness change in steps. So then I would hit start and immediately readjust the exposure after it did what it wanted and because I'm going from like you know some trees to more sky or whatever it would still change it would still change my exposure and it was driving me crazy you know again stabilizing it was fine it was great I walk with a limp so I wanted to be able to get some walking shots or, you know, shots with motion because, you know, just sitting here talking, yeah, it's nice sometimes, but I'd like to have my videos a little more visually interesting. So that that's my whole thing with the gimbal. Well, all I really want is a motion lapse where I can accept, set my exposure. So yeah, after after many frustrating attempts to, to do a motion lapse with settings that I wanted, it just... The other thing that bugged me with the app was the fact that it doesn't save to your, your camera roll. So yeah, definitely wanna try the Smooth 4. It's budget friendly, seems to have similar features and hopefully the updates they made to the app will work better than early reports. I wish I could see it locally. I did see that B&H has a sale on it right now, so it's 119 for the black one. But yeah, I'm definitely trying to keep it within a budget, but that brings up another point where I kind of get frustrated when I just want to use my phone to do what I need to do and trying to multitask. It doesn't work when your phone is tied up doing motion laps or whatever if you want to do just talking. So I started looking at, into little action cameras, but I don't think that you can have like an action camera on a gimbal and do a motion lapse and all that stuff. I know you can do time lapse, but I can do time lapse with my camera. However, I actually tried doing time lapses with the M50 and with the 4K time lapse, my iPad and my iPhone, iOS in general, keep just tell me that there's an error, can't play back the file. When I bring it into LumaFusion, there's a little exclamation point that I'm not sure what it means. It plays the footage, but I haven't tried to render it out or anything. I don't think I'm going to be able to do what I want to do and keep my phone free. I'm just trying to, some days i got to keep it as simple as possible. And I always have my phone with me. So i got to look into the Smooth 4 a little bit more before I commit. But if it works, then I'll just have to deal with having my phone tied up. Full on camera gimbal is going to be too heavy. I Me mean, even trying to hold the, the M50 with the kit lens in front of me, I can't do it. I tried recording a little holding my iPad out and <laughs> nope.
Until next time. Oh, I find it awkward looking at this lens because I need glasses and it's blurry. It's actually easier for me to stare at the lens like this.